Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Q by Q Breakdown. Due to copyright reasons, the full Q won't be played, but rather highlights showcasing the different themes and ideas. Check out my previous video on the theme names and letters that I referred to, and note that composers are unconfirmed for each Q. With that, grab your bottle of rum and let's dive in. 7M55, Jack Row to the Pirate Cave. Scored by Jeff Zanelli. This Q opens with our mischief theme on Jack. Then a variation on theme N with the pirates. We then get our Lay Sodo theme until Jack shows up with the mischief theme. Jack. It's not possible. No problem. 7M56, because it was Mr. Sparrow who said it. Score by Klaus Battled. This cue has two themes kind of hidden. There's a fragment of theme N and a fragment of the Legends theme. It ends with Jack's theme as well. Seven M fifty seven until the opportune moment. Score by Claus Battle. This cue just has Lay So Do. Not sure why the Turner motif didn't show when mentioning Will's name. Ever since you learned my name. Seven M fifty eight underwater march. Score by Nick Glennie Smith opens up with the mischief theme which typically follows Jack around, but here it's used for different characters. We then transition with a variation of the Le Sodo motif and then theme N for the underwater march. Ending with a big Le So. Seven M fifty nine Pirates Attack One, scored by James Dooley and Ramin Javadi. This is a six and a half minute sequence that contains a lot of themes throughout. It starts with a variation of the Legends theme. We get theme N on the pirates. A single pan flute note and the clave clicks when on the ship. Moonlight Serenade Hint with theme N. Even a short hint at the love theme. More Moonlight Hints before a build up into the full Moonlight theme. Back in the cave, we get an ostinato heard under the main theme with Barbosa's theme on top. I must we get a build up, and finally, almost two hours into the movie, we get our main theme. Then we get a quick B theme hint. Back to Elizabeth, we get Barbosa's theme for some reason. Theme G plays as Elizabeth climbs up. More moonlight before a Sodo. To Jack and Barbosa, we have theme E to close out the queue. Oh, 
7M60, Pirates Attack 2, scored by Ramin Javadi and Jeff Zanelli. The music is similar to the Le Sodo theme. Going into theme I, E, I again before the main theme. This whole section where theme E is played is different than the four versions of the scene that I have, and I'm not sure why. It's the same melody with just slightly different chords or scale degrees. We get a leso with Barbosa before more E theme. Then Barbosa's theme to close out the cue. Could this theme represent something else that I haven't noticed? 7M61, Bloody Pirates, scored by James Mackey Smith and Jeff Zanelli. This cue has some more Le Sodo theme. Trumpets come in with a fanfare representing the Royal Navy, which is met with theme O and theme N. The love theme plays for Will and Elizabeth, then back to theme I, D, and E. M62, Curse Reversed, scored by Blake Neely and Nick Lenny Smith. This opens with some unique material to the movie, a slow funeral-like music. But what are the top notes of the chords? Haha, <laughs> that's right. Literally one note different from theme A from our demo that I've called Barbosa's theme. Cleverly hidden. We then get a fanfare based on the main theme. And then the love theme back with Will and Elizabeth. Eight M sixty four, Will Saves Jack, scored by James Dooley. This starts out with the battle version of theme C, not really used in the love theme kind of way. We then get a main theme fragment before the third section of Jack's escape music from the beginning that I labeled as a mix of the escape and legends theme. We conclude with Jack's theme. Eight M sixty five happy ending score by Claus Battled opens with an augmented version of the love theme before Jack notices the parrot and we get the escape plotting theme. After falling into the water, we get Jack's theme. Back to the love theme with Will.
There's the escape plotting theme when Norrington mentions a one day's head start, which I find a little weird. We get the most powerful version of the love theme on the kiss. We get more mischief theme when Jack lands on the ship. And then his theme to finish us out. Eight M sixty seven end titles, scored by Jeff Zanelli, is just a cut and paste of the main themes used in the film, starting with theme D. Theme E. Jack's theme. Theme D and E again. Theme G. Jack's theme. And finally, escape theme B. Eight M sixty eight end credits, scored, or more accurately compiled by Claus Battled, is just a mixture of different themes from the movie. And unlike the end titles, these are more directly taken from certain scenes. We have three M twenty five, one M five. Six M forty six to forty seven, four M thirty one, and four M thirty two.